Good day. Hello, YouTubers. I got the juniors on. Yes, you do. Yeah. I just put them on for a little bit of a joke. I don't think they're going to stay on. No. You need the, the I like I like I like the shore footers. The big one? Yeah, yeah. this is the junior shore footer. Yeah. Pretty balanced look. Yeah. Wow, isn't it? But yeah, so. But that's not what this is about. Nope. We have a new mod. Sure do. Being released when? Oh, we're good to go. Yeah, kinda. This is what I've been at. We have what, 16? Yes. These aren't, of course, aren't painted yet, and I'll tell you why now in a minute. We have one painted, which is sold, by the way. And that is what people have been asking for for five years. That's right. A bolt-on spill guard kit. And that's what we have. This here is for the regular BX bucket. This one over here is the prototype, which was sold before I even finished welding it mm -hmm. to our, uh, our good customer and a friend that comes here quite frequently. And as I was assembling, he said, well, who's, I'm buying that. That's mine, right? That's right. So I said, okay, Andrew, it's yours. That's so, right. So that, but anyway, you can see the differences between the S, because the, uh, the S has a skid steer attachment. But if you have the S with the regular, with the regular bucket and no skid steer, uh, universal skid steer, it's going to take this type. If it got the skid steer locks, it's going to take that type. Okay? Today, the video is going to be about the regular BX bucket. We have my bucket out here, which is a 25D, but it has a welded on outfit. Okay? Welded on spill guard. There you go. That's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> Yeah, I heard the computer cut in. So, if I had my time back, I probably would have rather have the bolt-on one for a number of reasons. The biggest reason for me would be if I damaged it. I've had rocks in this thing that were huge, and I was afraid that if they came back and hit it, it would probably bend it. And I said, well, you know what, I'm setting myself up for a lot of trouble because if I bend it, then I have to try to deal with fixing it on here, you know. This is Schedule 40 pipe, so it's, it's, it's a thick pipe, it's very strong. Everything else is 1-8 plate, as thick as the bucket. But when you're trying to, when people call you up and say, well, I like to have a bolt-on one because I can't weld. Well, that's a pretty good excuse, isn't it? Pretty good reason to have a bolt-on kit, right? So this is what we have done. This, my friends, is the brand new spill guard for the BX series tractors without the universal skid steer attachment, okay? Now, let's go in and have a look and we'll show you exactly how this goes on. I'm not gonna use the painted one because I don't wanna scratch the painted one. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to do that again. No, so here it is. You know what you should have did? You should have got your scale. We'll okay. do that after and we'll weigh it. Okay. Because with these things, these things have, I won't say a low lifting capacity, but like every pound counts. So by the time you put a set of forks on it, you know, you got a hundred pound gun in mm -hmm. lifting capacity. So let's have a look. So this here is a VX25. This is not even the D, but it's the exact same bucket, okay? And uh, come on over here. You know what I should do? I should close that door because the sun is going to bother you, right? Mm -hmm. So it has a lip here, and uh, we utilize that lip, and we use utilize the side plates. So basically what you do is you take this, and you put it up here. Like so. 
I could do this easier on the ground, but I put it up here for the sake of demos. And the way that I have it is, now stay there, don't, don't give me a funny video moment. I'm going to show you something here now. You want to get yourself some kind of vice grips, mostly everybody got vice grips. And when you look at the design here, the design here is the same shape as here. So, so we'll just wave around like that. Okay. Are you with me so far? I am. Okay. See? Uh -huh. Same shape. Uh -huh. okay. mm -hmm. Then we'll go over here and we do the same thing over here. Okay. Same thing as Chinaman. I know him quite well, yeah. Oh. I worked with him actually one time, yeah. So, same thing. So, there you go. That's pretty simple, eh? Mm -hmm. yeah. What you do then, is you take your 3-8 drill bit, or a little tiny bit bigger, and you leave with this left on, you can use these holes as a guide, and you can drill these out. You can drill these out. Now, if you want a little trick, start off. People tell you start off with a 3-8 drill bit. Start off. Right. But I'm, they'll tell you to start off with a small drill bit first. But no, start off with the big one first. And just put a little dimple in the middle. When you put your 3-8 drill bit in there, it's going to perfectly center it because of these holes. Then get your little drill bit and put it in there and you already got your center found. It's a little trick, right? Yeah, that's a good tip. So you drill them out, okay? And then what you do, hang on a second here now, with that uh, kit, there's going to come 11 bolts, two washers per bolt, and a nylon lock nut, okay? These are zinc plated. They're the best quality that we could get. And each one is going to have the kit with it. I think you said 11, we got 8, oh, unless the other one got more. That's 4 and 8, 9, 10, 11. Oh, okay. How many you got put in the bag? 8. 8. See, folks? <laughs> See? <laughs> she tries to cheapen things, trying to get, get off with stuff. And everybody be bawling at me in the comment section. You'll say, well, I didn't know. It's 11. Okay. I told you 11. Okay. Told us so? Told us so. I told us so. Okay. I didn't have my listening ears on. Well, I'm going to tell you, I told you, you're not eating enough MP3s in your food. <laughs> okay? Okay. Now, so one bolt is going to come inside here, just under this lip. One nut, and there's lots, lots there. And you tighten them up a grunt and a half. You know, like, and it's done. I'm not going to tell you the torque, because most people don't own a torque wrench. Okay. Right? Now, you do the sides first. Bolt. Bolt. <laughs> And then what happens is if you look down, you probably won't see it with the camera. If you look down, these buckets, of course, were fabricated so well as this one. But in a lot of these buckets, this has got a slight warp in it. This lip. Mm -hmm. So while this is bolted on, bolted on, you can literally get here and just push this out a little tiny bit, drill it out, and then put your nut and bolt on here. Cool. And you're good to go. That's the install. Absolutely perfect. Okay. Can't go wrong. You can't go wrong. It's all it's all very strong. It's a schedule 40 pipe, you said? Yes, yeah. yeah. Schedule 40 plate, one eight plate all the way through. Everything is all the holes are punched. You're not cut with the plasma. I want the I want I, I like to have a perfect hole. Oh yeah. Like my holes are perfect. <laughs> Now, okay. come over here. This is a family show. Well, listen, you're the one with the dirty mind. Come here. Now, here's another thing that you're going to notice when you get your bucket or you get your spill bearer. Over here in this corner, you're going to say, well, how come Paul went a little bit bigger? Or how come Paul put this a little bit bigger here? That's right. How because, come Paul? Because I'll tell you why, Kathy. Why? Because a lot of these buckets are hand welded and some got globs of welding on them. Mm. And so you could have had a globber you could have, I could have had a globber bucket and that wouldn't have fit. So I've made allowances for this to fit 
the nicely welded buckets, buckets and the globbered buckets. That's right. Okay. We don't know what they have. We don't know what they have. And we didn't want people grinding, having to grind down their wells for this to fit. So there's a little, just a little gap there that's... Sounds good. But I mean, you just come over here and look in the front. To me, the bucket looks beautiful. That's what I was doing until you hauled me back Well, there. I mean, you know, you can't make up your mind where you're going. But don't that look nice? Beautiful. You know? Listen, why are you bringing yourself into this? Let's talk about the spill guard. <laughs> Okay. Okay. You, know, is you always got to try to get. Okay. Awesome. So now, here's the other thing we're going to do here, folks. We're going to offer this painted or unpainted. If we paint it, we're going to shoot it orange. Okay. That's right. I'm not going to be mixing up a dozen different colors, and that that's it. You know, it's orange or it's nothing. Any color you want, as long as it's Just orange. Just as long as it's orange. But. If people are watching this saying, well, my hooks are on the back of the bucket, mm -hmm. okay? Here's another reason to buy it, unpainted. Because, come over here, Kevin. <laughs> so what you can do, here, okay, I, I, yeah. I, here, hang on, hang on a second, hang on a second. Now. I'm hanging on. You hanging on? Mm -hmm. What you can do is you can take a two and a half inch hole saw. Say if your hook is here. Okay, yeah, I got okay. a hook there. You got a hook here. Yeah. You don't want to be putting your sling or your chain over the spill guard. That's, yeah. that's not what it's meant for. So what I've done in the past for other people, although I've never shown it, I've taken a two and a half inch hole saw and I've cut a hole right there. Mm -hmm. Then I've taken a zip or plasma and I've cut the slot here, mm -hmm. and I've cut the slot here. And now you've got a nice slot here that you can put your sling in through or your chain in through and hook onto your hook onto okay. your hook. Right? And it looks it really looks nice if you do it properly. Okay? So that's another reason why we're gonna sell it unpainted if you need it. it yeah, if you need it painted, we're gonna paint it, obviously. So we're going to uh, Yeah, you might choose to do that. Yeah, and you know, and, for your hooks and the other paint. thing is too, you know, you, you can you can do other things with it while it's not painted, and the other point uh, is with it is the fact that maybe some people says, well, I don't know, I think all orange is going to look terrible. Well, you just saw all orange on Little Killer. Mm -hmm. You're not going to sneeze or anything, are you? Because no. you look like you were going to sneeze. No, I'm good. Mm -hmm. I didn't want you to sneeze all over the screen. I'm okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I just you know just looking out to your you know. Oh, yeah, you I know, know you were. I was getting ready to grab the camera, too. Yeah, that's right. So, boy, look, you know, just look, just look. Even Kubota didn't get this level indicator straight. Look, it's all... It's trying with the level. It's all, all off kilter. Get back here and look at it. I'm telling you, because it's all warped. It's male. It's a male look, bucket. Look. Yeah. Right? But anyway. Warped. Yeah. The other thing is, too, maybe somebody wanted to paint a Kubota gray. Maybe. Oh, yeah. Right? True. Or black. Black is nice against oh, orange. Oh, it yeah. So, I mean, whatever it is. So, you're going to take some money off for the, the plain one. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, a, a, a can of paint will paint that, no problem at all. So, we're going to, what do you got, 15 or 16 here now? Uh-huh. You got a couple sold already. That's right. So, people have been waiting for this. So, these are ready to ship next week. Right. Depend, depends on how many orders comes in that's painted and not painted. So as you're ordering, they'll be specifying painted, painted unpainted, or unpainted. skid steer, no skid steer. Yes, exactly. If yeah. you, really, but, if you have a skid steer. But specific. we're only going to, we're going to take pre-orders on the skid steer because the skid steer is new this year. Okay. So we don't know how many we're going to, sure, we're going to get, right? So we know that there's plenty of these buckets out there. That's right. You know? And the regular standard. Yeah. So right now we got a clean slate for 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 these things. If if you pre-order, we get things done pretty quick. We do. So I'll uh, I'll get at it, and first come first serve. So if you if you pre-order now, and there's nobody ahead of you, you're the first one to get them. That's right. If you're the third one in the pre-order, you're the third one to get them. That's how it right? works. Right. You know so. We can cut them pretty quick now with the plasma table, and uh, you work efficiently. 
Well, you know, like <laughs> you I got uh, 15 done in a day and a half. Mm -hmm. You know, That's right. and they're not thrown together. No, they're not. Every one of them are my babies. Yeah, so you're pretty fussy. Well, I'm too fussy. You are. You know, things I'm are my own go. worst friggin' <laughs> enemy. You won't let anything go. No, no. I mean, I'm over measuring, and you know, like it's it's absolute. I'm, I'm, I shouldn't even be at this because this is going to drive me into mental, <laughs> as they say here in Newfoundland. <laughs> but anyway, so that's it. What else have we got to tell? That's it. This. That's it in a nutshell. Yeah, I think the next. Uh, so we, we have. So we have two spill guards. One for the skid steer, right? right. For the for the S, which is the the S stands for silly. We have already established that. Yeah, and the D stands for domineering. That's right. right. Uh, so yeah, if you want them, you've asked for them, now they're going to be available. The next mod is probably going to be for the B series. And it's going to be Spillgar. Nice. Because the B series is getting kind of left out here. That's not nice. And we have a lot of customers. Like, folks, we have dozens and dozens and dozens of mods mm -hmm. to do. I know. You know, we still we're still doing the short, short footers. Mm -hmm. They're selling crazy too. They are. So, if you want them, get on the site, have a look at them, and uh, we'll get them made for you. Like I say, there's going to be so many already made, and they're going to be gone. You will. Uh, they'll look on the site, and then they'll contact you through the site. Yeah, that's right. Right, that's how it works. Email. Mm -hmm. and I don't let know. Let me know a word or two, and yeah. I'll uh, I'll do a shipping quote. I have nothing to do with the business end of it. Yeah. You know, so. You got this business end of it. You're into the business end of yeah. making and building. Yeah. I see buckets now in my sleep. Yeah, I'd say yeah. And I see backhoe feet in my sleep. <laughs> yeah. So once I shut off here, I'll go get my scale because we want to wait. Yeah, so before we go, yes, we'll get the scale all the way. I forgot about that thing. Hmm, okay. I'm just looking at it. It's a nice day. I'm looking at a motorcycle. I want to go, but I'm not going to get to go. Am I? I got too much to do. Let's go get the scale. I told you you were going to sneeze. <laughs> I did. Didn't you? Yes. So you got you it on. You know me too well. You got it on pounds? Yes, that's right. For our so American we'll, friends. We'll weigh the bolts. That's 11 in there now, folks. <laughs> I count them myself, so 0.87 of a pound, so That's right. okay. almost a pound. Almost. So now we'll take this. I tried to keep, keep it strong and also light. Okay, you want to come over here now so you can... I will indeed eat. So zero to it. Lay her down. Lay her down. There you go. Okay, so get your bolts and lay them there too. What to do with the bolts? Put in the bucket. You turn around like do flicky. Okay, so we're at 14.44 pounds. 14 and a half pounds. Yeah. That's pretty good. That's pretty good indeed. You know, it's a nice heavy, heavy duty uh, spill guard. Now, folks, this is not meant for towing, so don't go putting hooks and stuff on. No. You know, you want to put hooks on, put them on your bucket, but not on the, not on the very top part or the outside diameter of anything. No. So, what do you think? I think it's lovely. Hey, my finger weighs a pound and a half. <laughs> yes, boss. Just watch. Look, and here's the proof, just my finger, look. Look. Yeah, look at that, look. 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 <laughs> oh, I got an eight pound finger. Look. Huh? Anyway, that's it folks. That's the video for today. We haven't done many videos, well, we haven't done any videos this week. No, that's right. Just been so busy. Exactly. So you I haven't can't. even got a chance to try your slip roller. Honest to God, it was put over there and it hasn't been turned on. No. Just never had a chance. But there's other mods coming, so we'll get that featured in some videos one of those days. So guys, if you want one, get on the website and contact Kathy. See you in the next video, folks. Take care and God bless. Mm -hmm.